Uh, we've been going for over 30 years and every year we help uh, over 300 people from the Maidstone and wider district, whether that's with uh, mental health issues, whether that's with chronic pain, uh, type 2, two uh, diabetes uh, or general uh, loneliness. Um, people are often referred uh, via GPs, uh, social workers and other organisations. And an important part of Blackthorn is that is connecting people uh, to nature. We know that there's been endless studies that show the benefits of people working in the natural environment, uh, not just for physical well-being, uh, but also for uh, their mental uh, well-being. And so through our gardening, whether it's uh, growing plants uh, to sell, like the ones that you see around in this uh, lovely greenhouse, or in our uh, allotments, growing vegetables and salads, uh, those all go into our cafe, where people also uh, contribute uh, on a voluntary basis or as one of what we call uh, our co-workers using that produce that they've grown uh, and then uh, making it into uh, wonderful food uh, for consumption in our cafe. All of this uh, couldn't be done uh, without the great support of the Kent Community Foundation. Uh, your support has meant that um, you know through I think over some 14,000 uh, pounds keeps us um, helping people uh, every uh, year. Uh, every day of the week. As Community Hub Manager, my main responsibilities are for all of the catering and education around food that goes on in Blackthorn and, um, and development of the site that will allow and encourage more people from the local community to join in in what we do. So one of the important things for us, because we're very lucky to have in this part of the world you know, quite a large garden, uh, and it's run on biodynamic organic principles. So we want to get as much nutrients into the, the, the vegetables and the fruits that are produced here as possible. And again, with especially younger people, they're quite unaware of where their food comes from and how it's produced. So most of the co-workers will have the opportunity to work on the land at some point and this supports our land to table ethos. What we've started to do uh, is to develop little classes, small intimate classes of three, four people uh, who previously have had very little experience of cooking uh, and what you find in discussion is that many of them you know obviously buy fast foods, processed foods, this sort of thing and we want to discourage that as much as possible and to try and create an enthusiasm for cooking from scratch. I see how people's confidence grows week by week by week. Um, and of course we talk a little bit about budgeting as well, how to do these things because cost nowadays is you know, key. People won't do it if it's too expensive. Yeah, the people are nice, it's a nice atmosphere. Um, I get to see Paul. Um, what else? Yeah, you get nice, meet nice people, get some out of the house. Paul's just the best, he's like a living legend, you know. He's like just so helpful, he's kind, he's understanding and it's great. Blackthorn for me is just relaxation, um, just come in, unwind, and it is like a safe space. So everyone's so kind and friendly, and you can just talk to anyone about anything here. Cooking to me is relax, like it's relaxation. Um, I used to work in a kitchen years ago, so now it's just nice to, to chill out where there's a calm environment, not with a head chef shouting at you. What the garden and the project offers at a fundamental level is a feeling of being included again. Um, and this is a group of people that are often excluded from many things in our society. Uh, and I, I think that's one of the great gifts that the project offers.